What is up, party people? Today, I'm gonna show you how I made a super low-budget trans temp gauge. This is a cold start, so that is the temperature right now. Let's drive a little and see how it warms up. And look at our climb. Getting warm quick. Here's how I did it. We have our LCD digital temperature meter and I have a voltage meter here because I like to see a digital readout of the voltage. You switch to control it on and off. You never know when you're going to drive in and things are just too darn bright. So let's take a look at the back. Just simple wiring. Three leads off this. A negative, a positive, and then a read. And then just negative and positive for the temperature meter. All going into crimp connectors on the back of the switch. Leading to a connector. And I have butt connectors ready to go for when I install it. I will have links to all of this in the description. To hold this all in, I just have a piece of aluminum plate that I traced out and cut. Then drilled a hole through and used a jigsaw. Or you could use a scroll saw to cut around the perimeter of everything you need. The aluminum board is secured in with some silicone. Holds up pretty well. Doesn't want to move anywhere. Then I used a stepping bit to cut a hole for the switch. All right, to wire it up, you can plug in and add a circuit onto your fuse panel. You wanna take a look at your diagram here, and I have a spot for an accessory that's not used by anything else. So I just put an add a circuit on that. You can use a bolt somewhere as a grounding location. Then you wanna run your wiring to your location. Here I have my wires ready to go. I previously just crimped these as a quick fix before I had this mounted up to a nice panel. Give them a crimp. This is the wire for the temperature probe. It goes through there, down. You can see it right here. Drilled into the floor. It comes out, goes down, and it goes to the transmission. You can see the sensor goes to the hot side of the transmission coolant line. It's pipe clamped and electrical taped, so that's how you get your hot temperature reading. And here it is at night, looking good. That green switch is pretty bright. I'm probably gonna change that out for a red one. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments.